on the movie called Cabin Boy, we built a miniature of the filthy whore, the name of the ship. And then Ron Gress made the most beautiful paint job on it of this crackle finish that was all shrunken and peeling and looked, you know, 100 years old. It was an amazing paint job. And uh, one of the tenders of that ship, I think it was a tender, was this rowboat. And it was an interesting design of boat. I had not seen it before, but it, I think it was called a Chesapeake Bay Oyster Skull or something like that. And it's a rowboat that's, that's a very graceful design. And it's made up not of very thin slats. It's only made up of one, two, three, four, I guess, seven sort of plywood panels, as it were. And so it's a very simple design. And I had to make a miniature of it about 24 inches long or 30 inches long. And they were going to put little doll figurines in there and a giant was going to grab the thing and throw it down in the water. Really cheesy, intentionally cheesy. But they wanted a nice little boat. So I got to make this beautiful, carefully crafted miniature of this boat with the oars and the, the sort of uh, platform on the bottom and the oar locks, you know, sculpted out of brass. And, and it turned out so beautifully. It was featherweight and really rigid and just a perfect replica of the boat. And it was really fun. And I'd heard that years later it was put on exhibit. It was like in the display case in the lobby of the distribution company that owned the film. Um, so it's good that somebody actually recognized that it was a cool thing. And it had the figurines in it. And it was a really funny looking thing. But it was really fun to make. It, it does change from show to show. It varies from show to show. I mean, I've been on low-budget films where they were very specific, even though they, didn't, you know, they had a champagne attitude and a beer pocketbook. Uh, they wanted grandiose but had very little money. And sometimes we could do it. You know, I mean, that was one of the interesting things about Mark and Bob was that even when a show didn't have a whole lot of money, they would always end up getting something that looked more expensive than what they paid for. And, and a part of that was just a pride you know, uh, you know, we're not, we're not just delivering a product to the client. We're representing our company. That was something that got ingrained in me very early on uh, from Mark. Well, Mark and Bob both, very high sense, high work ethic. I mean, I got a high work ethic from my father, but th those guys really drove it home for me. And um, you know, it was always about doing the best job, and and never letting budget was important, but never, never let that govern the quality of your work. It was more about how much can we do versus how well can we do it. 